Well, Jones Beach has long been referred to as the crown jewel of the New York State Park System. And as Rebecca Fath reports, it's still considered a shining example of what a public park should be 80 years after first opening. Malcolm Mackay says he's been coming to Jones Beach since the late 1940s. One of the things that I've come to realize more recently was how magnificent it was at the beginning. It was an extraordinary achievement. Robert Moses really built a, a country club for the public in a, in a way. He was just one of the people who gathered at Jones Beach to celebrate its 80th birthday. Officials spoke about the history of this state park and passers-by were invited to have a piece of the birthday cake. I'm amazed at the vision that Robert Moses had 80 years ago and how it's lasted and it's grown and it continues to grow even in the tight times that we're in now evidenced by the people who are walking out as we stand here today. What I really love is that it, that um, is, is its recreational use. The people here come here really enjoy themselves. You, you cannot walk around without seeing that. Eight million people visit this beach every year. That according to officials who say it is one of the best public parks in the New York area, if not the world. Wherever we travel uh, throughout this country, everybody talks about Jones Beach. This is certainly the jewel of the park system, not only in New York State, but throughout the entire United States. It is one of the greatest public parks in the world. At Jones Beach, Rebecca Fath, LI News Tonight.